All right, so I'm doing a series of videos to help teachers be able to give students access to YouTube videos and videos that you find online. And uh, before, before we do that, um, there's one important step that uh, makes things a little easier, and that's downloading Google Drive to your PC. So uh, uh, many of us have Google Drive um, a, as a tab, or you all have access to Google Drive with your um, Weston 7 account. But it's not the same as downloading it. So it's very handy to have it when I go down to my file explorer and to have it come up here in, in my table of contents so I can save things directly to Google Drive. So in order to get Google Drive downloaded, and you need to do this with, with each of the machines, like if you have your school computer and, and a laptop or, and then a home computer, uh, you need to do it. And what it does is it syncs your, your Google Drive to, uh, to all all the machines. So in order to get that um, way, way I do it, or one of the ways is to just go to your Google search and type in Google Drive download. Okay. And once I get to the, the Google Drive download, I'm just going to download for PC and accept and install and um and right here you can just take the the default to save it um and then you'll see down in the lower corner um the google drive downloader executable file so when i click that it's going to start downloading or start installing so once I go through this process, you'll start to, and it, it takes a while to install, but once it installs, then um, you'll see an icon down here in, in the taskbar. Google Drive will show up, and it really, it takes it a, quite a while to sync um, with sync your Google Drive with the downloaded Google Drive, um, depending on how much you got, it could take up to like an hour. Uh, but once you have that, then um, it makes the next step a lot easier. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this installation because I've already got it installed. Okay, so now we have Google Drive downloaded. Um, and just a, a quick way that you can check that is when I go down to the taskbar and I see the Google Drive icon and after it's all colored in, I know that it's completely synced up. So um, the, other, the other thing that, that that does or the other place where I could see that is if I go over to my file explorer um, here that I can see Google Drive in this in this table of contents and it works exactly like any of the other drives on your computer. So whether it's your hard drive or your, um, your home directory on the network, it works the same way. Um, and it's a good idea just, just to start putting all your material, all your content in, into Google drive, and then you have access to it anywhere. So, um, now, I want I want to share I want to share this video the nucleus from Crash Course Chemistry. Crash Course is a great site too, by the way. Um, so when I click on the video, this is just my opinion here. I'm not going to watch it all, but you should all be previewing the videos, especially before you share them with students. Um, also, you'll see this. This headline title here that says watchable by Weston7.org. Um, 
it that really doesn't make any difference and that's not really what we're doing here um, but what i do want to do is i want to come up to the omni bar and highlight everything in front of youtube.com okay and then i'm going to replace that with ss and hit enter and what that does is that takes you to a save from net website okay and from right here i am going to download as an mp4 um, and i can i can change the quality but really what what you have here at 720 is is the best okay now this is where your um google drive comes in handy so I'm going to save it to my Google Drive. If you if you can't find the Google Drive, just scroll through. But uh, right here is my Google Drive. And then I have already created a YouTube folder for this purpose. Um, so I'll just navigate to that YouTube folder and hit save. Okay. And then that, that video is saved in... Uh, my Google Drive YouTube folder right here. When I want to share it with students, all I need to do is whether it's I, I'm going to email it or um, I can go right into the video here into the sharing options and and I can share it directly. I can put it um, in Google Classroom, you can put it in um, Edivate, any of those sites, because now it's a, it's a regular file, MP4 file. It's not tied to YouTube, so you don't have to worry about the filtering. Okay, thank you.